So like I say, if you're just watching this video, my name is Justiniano. I'm a software engineer building mobile apps and web apps, okay? So I show you in the previous video how you can create your Meta app and then add an Instagram product to the Meta app that we're going to be using uh, to consume some API so in a way that our AI automation workflow can interact with Instagram in our behalf by respond to comments, send DM messages to the customer that reach out to us. So in this video, I'm going to just dive into that by create an AI star point of the workflow that is going to be connected with this uh, app that we create, just connect them. So then we can start to build more into this AI agent, add more functionality and 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 the, the task that we want them to do. Okay, let's just dive in into this right now and let's take the most advantage of the time for me to share as much as information as I can with you. Okay, see you. Uh, so I'm gonna share I'm gonna share this screen here right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here you are see my a, 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 um, a dashboard. I have a built some agent in the past. Uh, so now I'm gonna just build a new one, very fresh, so you can follow along. So I'm gonna change the name. I'm gonna put the name JI Consulting AI. That's that's what that's what that's the AI agent that we're gonna build. Okay, so uh, NA, NA basically. Uh, the way it works, they have all different nodes, and the node has different functionality and compatibility, and the node do different things, and you can, and each different node has different configuration. So as right now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be working in the node that called Webhook. Webhook, it is a node that it's kind of it's a node that is listening for someone to talk to it. Okay. It's like uh, it's like web chat, okay? Someone send a message, and he will respond back uh, the way that you configure them to to do. But the most important is something that is listening for someone. In this case, webhook is gonna be listening from Instagram, okay? Because this is what the AI agent that I'm gonna build. So I'm gonna just click here, and then you see the webhook call, okay? So, uh, so I can just type also webhook, okay? Uh, and then you're gonna click on it and that will configure it. But before that, I wanna show you something. There are some trigger, okay? Like for example, Facebook trigger. I tried that in the past and I'm running some issue. I don't know if it still work, I haven't tried since then, but this pretty much can do the same thing that we want webhooks to do, okay? Uh, I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna try again in the future and if it's work, I can make the same video show you using Facebook trigger. It's like basically you can create, you can put this node and you configure this node how it's going to be triggered, okay? But for us, for the purpose of the demo, we're gonna just use the uh, the webhook, okay? Okay, just add the webhook. So here in the webhook, it comes by default with two URLs, one for test, one for production, okay? And it's basically just HTTP, and then you have to tell how people can communicate with this webhook. The first one, I'm just gonna say get, okay? I I'm just, uh, this is the grid path, let's say this endpoint, this node, okay? I'm gonna just put it for something very uh, more more easy to read. Okay, so this webhook is gonna be consumed by Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a meta uh, IG mean Instagram. I think this is this is the way that I like to call it. Okay, uh, so there's nothing on notification and nothing to be done here. Okay, so the production always uh, so the production URL always it's gonna be automatically the same. Okay. So now this is what we're gonna do. This is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just copy the test URL. Okay, the test URL. I'm gonna just click copy, and then I'm gonna go to the to the to the to here to the Instagram that we collect. I'm gonna just put a a, a, 
uh, this is the end point that I want Instagram to send any, con any event, any event, any change that happened on Instagram, it has to set this event to the end point. You know, the verification token at this point, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just pull like a JA Consulting. It doesn't matter. But now, it, it, of course, if I click to verify, it's not going to work because uh, the configuration, they say this callback, okay, could, could it be validated, okay? Which is, which is totally fine because they're more into that that we need to do, okay? So, but now I'm going to have to put it to listen mode just to see if something's going to be reach out here, okay? So I click this. So now it take more time, but it's still going to fail, and I know, so don't worry. But now when I come here, one thing that you that I can confirm and you must be happy about is that that call that I did from the Instagram, it reached to our webhook and the points. So now you're going to be happy. You see the subscribe, you see the token that I sent, okay? So now you know that the Instagram is able to send a message from this uh, webhook okay but it's not it's not uh, it's not com the, the, let's say the connection is not complete because like you see the error here it could not verify so we it's like instagram sent a message but he did not get anything back okay so now we need to we need to we need to fix this so the instagram can feel that the communication end to end has happened. So now we're gonna have uh, our callback Instagram connect to the webhook. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do another, uh, let's say another note. Okay. I think it's gonna call auto response. So let's see webhook. Respond to webhook. This is the note that we're gonna do. Okay, so basically this note, I think it's going to be, uh, let's put a test, okay? And the test that we're going to respond is this challenge. And then I'm going to just move. It's very easy to work on. on and, and, and. You just basically, basically, you just drag and drop things. It's very easy and I love it. OK, so this is what I'm going to do. This webhook here, OK, this webhook is going to receive that call from Instagram, but it's, it doesn't do anything. It just receives. But this second note that we add here, that's the one that's going to do the match. If I test it, OK, it just is it could successfully. But don't worry, we that's not how we're going to test it. But one thing you can feel that it's very important is this. This one is going to receive a call from Instagram, and this one is going to respond back to the Instagram, and then you're going to see that the, the callback Instagram connection webhook is going to succeed. So let's try that. And the first, you always have to have this uh, uh, in the testing workflow. You have to run your test workflow like it's running, okay? So now it's like uh, I'm awake. I'm waiting for something to come in, okay? So now when I click this to verify, Oh, still did not work? Why? Uh, so the callback URL verification took update. Please verify. Okay, something did not work. I might have to check this. Oh, why? Okay. Oh, no. It's not responded immediately. I have to, uh, so I have to use in the webhook to respond. Okay. So now I'm going to click save. Okay, I'm gonna test this again because respond automatically, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna use webhook to respond. Okay. So now I'm gonna click here. Okay. So now there's something went wrong. We are working it. Do you know this is Insta this issue? It's on the Instagram. But if you went to see, if you went to see here end to end, everything successfully. Okay. So let's let's let me call this. Let me let me call this. Put it this name. I'm gonna put it this. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put a, a web. Oh, let's put a web hook get. Okay. Okay. And this one, I'm gonna put a. Uh, this is the actually this is the challenge validation. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna call it web hook challenge. Okay. So it's very important. Let's double check. 
So this is the challenge, okay? So this challenge is what I have to send back to the Instagram. So now they can, like I say, it, so now they can recognize that uh, the, 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 so, the, so it's very important because that's how Instagram is gonna give us authorization to communicate back to it, okay? So let me come in here again. Let me refresh. I wanna, uh, let me refresh again, okay? I'm gonna go to do you see the web hook even it give that error that I show you but it's working because I know I did something I did I'm supposed to do so now we have a web hook get okay and now the next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna do because I'm gonna explain you oh sorry I'm gonna delete. so I want to click here copy I duplicate this and then I'm gonna explain you why because I want this, I want to have another node webhook with the same or exactly and the point URL for the one that I use to connect with the Instagram. But this one is gonna be post, okay? Because this is the one that I'm gonna receive the data. The first one is just to valid, valid, validate the communication end to end to make sure my agent workflow is able to connect with the Instagram app that i set up so then i can have a full access to the api okay so now i'm, I'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about any authentication for now okay but now this one i'm gonna say uh, uh this one it's not important this is i don't want to i'm gonna put it in that little response okay but this one i'm gonna call webhood post okay this is the webhook okay that's gonna be listened okay for an event that will come with the data uh the reason that has to be post because a get is just the url communication it does not have the data it has the data but let's think about that it does not have the data but when instagram event is want to send the data for your AI, AI agent, you need to receive the data to see, oh, what is that? Is a comment? Okay, it's comment. What the user say? All that information, you have to have a post, okay, uh, uh, to, to handle that, okay? This is what I'm trying to fix here, okay? So now I'm going to show you. So if you come in here, let me close this for now. If you come in here, so this is our web hooks. We are interested, for example, in the comment, and then we are interested on the messenger. Those are the event that we want our AI agent to handle. So now I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna start a test, okay, click test. And then this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the comment. I'm gonna just click send a test, okay? Then I'm gonna see what happened. Do you see, it didn't go to the get. It come to the post because like I say, when the event happened on the Instagram, they has to send to through the web hooks or AI agent that's listened, it has to come to the post. So now if I click here, you're gonna see what happened. This is the test. This is the test, okay, that we that the Instagram event that Instagram is sent to us. Okay. So in this video, it is very important. We connect our Instagram app that we create with our AI agent workflow. Okay. In the next step, all we, all we have to do is start to build in things and make sure our AI agent can respond the comment successfully back to the user who is interacting with our page. Okay. That's what we're going to do in the next steps in the next video. Okay. Stay tuned.